Jake is the chief Washington correspondent of CNN, the anchor of the lead. All right, uh, Jake, uh, did the president make the case to a lot of Americans who don't see this as a major national security threat to the United States that the U.S. has to maintain that credible threat of military force in Syria? Well, I mean, one of the things that was so interesting about what he did this evening was he specifically addressed doubts, specific doubts, six or seven questions about why should we get involved. I've never hear, heard a president uh, talking about the need to show force, going through all the different arguments ticking down. So I don't know if he successfully made his case to the American people. According to polls, the American people are convinced that Assad did this and that it was wrong, uh, but they still don't want to get involved. But he addressed specifically uh, what if this is a slippery slope? Uh, what if the enemies of, uh, uh, what, what if the Assad regime retaliates? Uh, why aren't others Get it stepping into the fray. Why does it have to be us? Why aren't we seeking other solutions? He went bit by bit trying to go. This, is a, this was a speech specifically to a public that doesn't want to go to war. And in fact, it sounded like a president who doesn't want to go to war. Yeah, he certainly doesn't want to go to war, but he wants that threat to hover over these, uh, these discussions that are taking place 